Susie here, all the way from Invercargill. Invercargill is here. At the bottom of the South Island. The mainland, actually. Well, what am I doing in Invercargill? Very good question, but not today's question. I'm here for a party. It's a birthday celebration for Henry the Tua Tower, so it's party time! Hey, how many birthdays does a Tua Tower have? A Tua Tower has about a thousand birthdays. I think a Tua Tower would have two or three birthdays. A hundred? One? Three? One birthday? A hundred? Two or three? A Tua Tower might have two birthdays. Five? Six? Four? Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh, Henry's an older Tua Tara. And Tua Taras are about the same size as a cat. Well, cats can have up to about 20 odd birthdays. So maybe, maybe Henry's 14. Or maybe he's 15. Or he could be 19. Or maybe this is his 21st birthday. Oh, it could be his 25th. Oh, this is the Southland Museum where Henry lives. Of course, it's not his natural habitat, but it's where he's hanging out for now. You know, a long time ago, over a thousand years before humans were around, there were Tuatara all over New Zealand. But now you'll only find them on offshore islands and in captivity, like this museum here or in zoos. And that's so Tuatara can be allowed to breed and be a part of New Zealand today, not just New Zealand's ancient history. History? supposed to be a science program. Ah! I'm completely off the topic and I blame you quite frankly. Yes, you. You've got me talking history. Oh, what will it be next? Mass? Art? Oh. Ah, before you meet the birthday beast, oh, that's this handsome dude here, I thought I'd let you in on a few little secrets. Tuatara means spiny back. Check this out. Henry does have a very spiny back, so we'll watch out for those. Mm, spines. Does that mean I'm going to give him a birthday kiss or not? Blah. Hey, I wonder if any of his rallies are going to be here. You know how he looks a lot like a dinosaur? Well, his family dates back 225 million years. Well, I must be early because there's nobody else here. Never mind, we'll just wait. Hey, I've just remembered something. Tuatara are cold-blooded, and in cold weather, it really slows them down. So Henry must be on his way to his birthday party. It's just going to take him a while. So, while I'm waiting, let's check out some of his home videos. That might give us a clue as to how old this critter is. Now, I told you Tuatara were slow. Well, even the egg production can be slow. Female Tuatara can lay up to 12 eggs and they normally do it in November. It takes three to four years in the wild for the soft-shelled egg to be produced inside the mother. And then the eggs take 11 to 16 months to hatch. A hen's egg takes around three weeks. Now, Mum Tuatara buries the eggs in loose soil. And the soil temperature makes the hatchlings either a boy or a girl. Cooler temperatures, girls. Warmer temperature, boy. That's the same as in other reptiles, like crocodiles and turtles. Oh, look, there's Henry. Oh, he's grown up a bit. Having some dinner. Yum, crunchy crab. Henry came out of an egg. I didn't know that Tuatara laid eggs. Bless my little cotton socks, that's news to me. How can I 
find out the answer to my question if the birthday boy doesn't even turn up for his own birthday party. Well, let's have a look at his photo album. Let's have a look at him growing up. Henry just hatched. Straight out of his egg. Isn't he cute? Now, remember, Henry is cold-blooded, so he does everything slowly, including growing up. Here he is, age 20, and he's only just turned into a teenager. <laughs> what have we got here? Ah, Henry, aged 60, and he's only just turned into a fully grown adult. Wow. You know, that's a clue. If Henry has only just become an adult at 60 in this book, then how old must he be? He must be more than 60 now. Well, let's see. The average human can live for 75 to 80 years. So maybe Henry's 80. Maybe he's older. OK, it's time to discover Henry and just how old that Tuatara is. I found the birthday boy. This is Henry. Happy birthday, Henry. And I've made a special treat. A cake like no other cake. The kind of cake that's going to tempt Henry. A hoo-hoo grub cake. Mm-mm. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Henry the Tuatara. Happy birthday to you. <gasps> A very special present, especially for this Tuatara, his very favourite snack. Mm, mm, mm. Would you look at that? Live hoo-hoo grubs. Okay, Henry, the biggest and the fattest just for you on your birthday. Hoo-hoo grub for you, bub. Mm, mm. Not hungry. I thought you'd change your mind. Henry is over a hundred years old. Now, not many humans live to that age. Tuataras can manage that because they're cold-blooded. They live in cool temperatures, so they do things slowly, including growing old. A Tuatara's natural habitat is a burrow, normally one that a bird's been living in. A Tuatara's normal day in the wild is to emerge from their burrows between dusk and midnight on warm evenings to feed. They'll snatch at anything that comes near those razor-sharp teeth. Ooh, some of my personal favourites. Hoo-hoo grubs, beetles and mm-mm-mm, wetters. Yum! So, how many birthdays can a tuatara have? How many years can it live for? Well, think about Henry. Henry's had over a hundred birthdays. Mm-hmm. He's over a hundred years young. And actually, Tuataras can live for over 200, maybe even up to 300 years. <whistles> that is a lot of birthdays. Well, that's another birthday over for Henry. And I'm quite glad about that because I've had over a hundred of them. And he could have over a hundred more. Why don't you find out how many birthdays your pet's had and how many it's likely to have in its lifetime? If you'd like a fact sheet for this or any other Susie's World program, write to us at Susie's World, P.O. Box 34307, Birkenhead, Auckland. See you next time. Ka kite. He's just hanging out here for now. <laughs> Before you meet the birthday beast, that's this Hampson. Hampson? Hampson. And it goes a little bit like this. Thanks to New Zealand On Air, we couldn't have done it without you.